Hi friends, in my previous video, we have seen how the IS is configured and how to access the IS page. In this video, we are going to see how to create ASP.NET application and how to deploy that ASP.NET web application from Visual Studio to Azure VM machine. Let us start. So I am going to open the Visual Studio 2019. If you don't have this uh, uh, software, please install this uh, at free of cost. So I am going to create a new project by selecting here. And here I am going to take ASP.NET web application. So I am going to go with the C shop and then click next. So let us name it uh, uh, to deploy to Azure VM. So you can select the framework here. There are different uh, .NET framework versions. So I'm just selecting the latest version, which is uh, .NET framework 4.7.2. Great. So here there are uh, different type of uh, web applications. You can either select MT or web forms or MVC or you can also go if you're going to build some kind of web services you can go with the uh, web API which builds the restful uh, HTTP services but in this application anyway I'm going to create a web pages so you can also go with a single page application let me go with a single page application for this session create So it takes a few seconds. Let me pause until it get created. So now the application is created. So you can see in the right pane that solution explorer. So if you go to the views, you will be able to see the different pages: account, home, main is shared. So these are the CSS HTML pages. You can check this. So the complete page is designed, but you can modify later. My intention is just to deploy to the Azure VM, which we have created in my earlier sessions. Let me just run this uh, directly. This is going to run in the local host of my current mission, not on the Azure VM. So let us see how the pages are. Then we will proceed with Azure VM deployment. So it, it is going to take few seconds to load that particular page. So it is running on the local host and the port number is double four double three seven. So after the page is loaded, this is how it appeared. It got login page, it got registered page and also API. So these are the pages uh, it got, but uh, you can customize according to your requirement. Uh, so let us go back to the Visual Studio. stop that application because it is already running then select the project name right click on it click on the publish so i'm not going to deploy that to the app service if you want to know how to deploy to the app service please go through my other video which shows how to deploy the web application to the azure app service from Visual Studio. So in this session, we are going with the Azure Virtual Machines. Select that and browse that virtual machine. So under this account, I have that virtual machine. So um, subscription, these are all things already done. I have for my VM demo, this is what we created. And this is the host. Select that. So the specified virtual machine doesn't have domain name associated with any public IP address. This is the error uh, it raised. Uh, we need to configure web deploy. Also, we need to configure the firewall on the Azure VM to access that uh, particular VM machine from the Visual Studio. Let us do that. First, uh, set up the firewall on the Azure portal. First, I'm going to jump into the Azure portal. So under the networking, 
here you have uh, inbound uh, and outbound port rules so we have enabled already rdp http and all this so i'm going to add one more inbound rule let me add the port number here 81 72 is the port number i want to enable for the web deploy and the priority number i want to change it to 1010 for web deploy so simply add creating the rule so after a few seconds uh, that particular rule is uh, added here the port number 8172 and uh, the priority 1010 now let us go back to the remote desktop so let us go back to the server manager where we uh, yeah it's already open so go to the dashboard add roles and features click next role based feature or feature based installation let us select that go ahead next in this window uh, you have to enable the magnet service So select the management service and next oh sorry it is not selected install just only management service need to be installed because we earlier did all the other installations required yeah. now the management service is enabled close this window so once the installation is done click on the local server IE enhanced security configuration change this one administrators off it and users on it you are basically enabling the uh, security configuration for the different user groups so after this you have to download and install the web deploy tool so simply download from here run it takes a few minutes uh, i'll pause it meanwhile and then come back so once the download uh, finish it comes to this window so you just need to run that installation part I accept the terms next so just go on with the uh, typical or custom just install that so once the installation is completed finish it so after the installation simply go to your IIS manager so you can see here the management service uh, earlier this was not there in case if you if it doesn't reply reflect please close that window and then reopen the same so that you can see it so right click on it open feature under it uh, under this you have to enable the remote connections and uh, start the service settings have changed do you want to save the settings yes so this particular service is started 
now you are almost set to go with the visual studio deployment except one step that you need to enable the dns let us minimize this you need to go to the azure portal now so go to overview check for the dns here you can see the dns name here configure so you need to provide uh, some kind of dns name which is unique my website to host from bs and this will be added to your dns name but if you have any domain registered you can still configure that but as I don't have any such kind of uh, domains, I'm just taking this. Save. Go back to a Visual Studio. Let us give it a try. So now the error is disappeared and you can create a profile. Everything is set to publish. I will enter my password which I created earlier. takes few seconds until that I will pause it so it is asking for the security certificate what is issued accept it so the same password I have used uh, what I used for remote desktop there is some error publish has encountered an error will failed this error is um, because of the web deployment installation uh, we actually selected the web deployment uh, with uh, typical uh, installation but you need to customize that and you need to select all the features are un available under that like uh, handler uh, all those stuff let me show you uh, go to the go back to your go back to here and then um, uh, I have already uh, restarted the reinstallation click on next click on change this is where the problem was like um, web deployment framework by default only the UI module was selected and the deployment handler handler was not selected so I again selected all those and installed complete uh, list of the features required for this one so after that anyway I, as I already did I am not uh, trying again come back to your application right click on this publish as a virtual machine select your vm now it must need to work create profile just publish it So it's working fine now uh, I started deploying and it is even trying to browse it from the browser so you can see this but this is actually coming from the uh, the Azure VM it is already deployed so from now on was uh, what are the changes you can make it in your a web application and then go ahead and uh, publish it will directly uh, deploy to the uh, azure vm machine
that's how you can manage the deployments from your visual studio to the azure vm that's it for today thanks for watching my videos